Hitman. <laughs> yes, we are back with uh, Hitman and Wiz War in the Columbia level uh, previously after the Hong Kong levels. So welcome back. Yeah, we're going to see probably more of the main story here. I have not gotten past this level, so this is the last of the game that I've seen. This is the last uh, this is the last of where you were before you just like uh were just like the game took a massive dump. Yeah, I, I rage quit and I think justifiably at this point. I it's... would say so. This this Columbia level almost had the same effect with uh, like the Hong Kong like the Lee Hong assassination level. But this one's worse. Yeah, this Imagine a game that it's, it's kind of like when games, you know, they do they aren't meant to be stealth games, but they have stealth elements to them, or and they it have like stealth and sections, it, and it doesn't work that well. Like like forced stealth, where like if you get detected, you just die. Oh, look at that! That that camouflage. Guess what? It's not gonna work. Yeah, but this this is basically the opposite of that. You got a stealth game with terrible combat mechanics, and you're gonna force force people to use them. Yes, and I die a lot, which will be in the bloopers as well. I can and, imagine. So I went into this mission with uh, with an M4 essentially, but it turns out that's a really bad idea, especially if uh, it, it actually messes up with the disguise because uh, they all carry uh, AK-47s, and if you carry anything else, they'll be like, "Hey, you're suspicious," even though they have M4 weapons lying around, and if they use them themselves. So you are actually pre-disguised as an insurgent in this one. Uh, yeah, or at least going Snake Eater on this level, which didn't doesn't do well because there's no camouflage system. Yeah, and your job is to assassinate the leader of some sort of rebel group, is that correct? Uh, we're trying to kill a drug lord, but we're trying to, like, slip in, much like with the Lee Hong uh, assassination, oh. where we, uh, well, not weaken, but we're trying to sneak in. Right now, we gotta get help from the natives to, uh, by getting this golden idol. Okay, so the, you, if you get the golden idol, the natives will help you because they yes. use that. Yes, and it doesn't really make much sense. Like, <sighs> this is one of the things in this Hitman game that just didn't make sense. Like, uh, if you think about it, you don't really need the natives' help, but because the game said so, you have to get help. Yeah, that's that's kind of dumb. In uh, more recent games, they kind of do an optional route where it's like you can do the bare bones, you know, just do the mission, or you can call for help. Oh yeah, like the thing where you pay off people like so they don't suspect you. I, I was watching a Hitman contract video, and I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Like, you use your money actually gets some use out of this, but in uh, Codename 47, uh, y your money just almost isn't even needed. Yeah, and uh, that's where, you know, if you get seen by someone, you can pay it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that, that's in blood money, too. It, it's a neat, it's a neat option. I, I like it. It's neat because in Blood Money, like the more the more people see you, the more people get away get away from seeing you, the like better picture they have of you. So, if if only one person is seeing you, they might be like, oh, it's a male. And then if like three or four people see you, it'll be like, oh, it's a male in his forties. And different missions, it like stacks up. Hmm. So it'll be like a male in his forties and white, and then they'll have like. So it gets more descriptive as it goes yeah. on. So and then they'll have a bad sketch of you. And then they'll have a really good sketch of you, and if they have a security footage of you, then that's just it. You, it's a, it's a hundred. They'll recognize you immediately. Oh, interesting. Anyway, so we found the golden idol because the plane that was supposed to be transporting this crash, and now I'm making my way to the natives. By the way, the map system here really sucks. Yeah, I I'm really I don't know how you would like find your way through here, like what you'd use as landmarks or anything like that. Uh, let's just say I know about some of the stuff in advance, ish, because uh, I, I watched a video before I played. I, I played this like long time ago, not like uh, at the time of making this, so I remember what to do. But you have sharper eyes than me, because I would not have seen those two guys. <sighs> you know what? I, I actually didn't. There's actually fog in here, and like uh, they blend into the fog, and you'll see me die a lot in the bloopers. But it's just so unfair. Like you can't see them in the fog, but they can see you in the fog. Just yeah. like. Like, like Hitman said right here, not the one in the game. The combat is just crippled. Yeah, it's... Let's there's see that! No, I, I there's didn't... no way to be, like, tactical with it, either. The only t the only tactical thing is hiding behind a wall and leaning out, and, but, like, d even that's, like, giving it a little too much praise. You just have to pray that your shots hit and there's no... Really it, it depends on the... Look at that. Look at that. It, they just sprayed all around you. you and they all managed to, like like... 
80% of them manage to hit. And it also depends on the weapon you use. Oh, uh, good thing you brought that up. Whenever the weapon is in their hands, it's always more accurate than yours. Oh, Master Assassin, oh, you the, huh? Uh, so, when you reset in this game, it's kind of like an old... <laughs> good, uh, overkill there. It's oh, kind of like a, it. more of an old video game where, like, the people that you kill stay dead. For the most part. Though, and the ones that you didn't kill are still alive and they know about you. Yeah, that's that's interesting for this game because the later games it's a strict you know save system, where it's like if you, you you have to save and then if you fail you can just reload the save but everything, um, you know it's it's a consistent world. Depending on like the uh, difficulty, right? Because some difficulty the higher difficulties don't let you save. You got to do it on the yeah. One they don't row. let you save mid mid uh, mission at all. Well, which is fair. That's what makes it difficult. Yeah, and you're only I feel like you only do that when you like thoroughly know the levels. Yes, yes, like almost like clairvoyance on it. So we made it to the natives' village. I, I only died a few feet from them. And these guys, I didn't realize they they were they would actually harm you with, oh, like, blowguns, because, you, you know, natives. Statue. Very yeah. nice. Please bring it to our chief in the village. Interesting accent for... By the way, I don't yeah. know why you're, the agency cares about, like, these natives. If you if you happen to kill any of them, you, uh, you get penalized for it. I, I don't know if they're under some sort of protection from whatever, but that didn't Maybe stop the drug like... lord. Maybe they're just like agency resources, you know? Like the agency can use them to help out. I, I guess. Oh, if you speed up this part, which I did uh, in in editing, they, they sound really funny when they're doing the <laughs> noise. <laughs> Worship me! Is he just, is he just like dancing around for a reason? Idol. Yes. You bring back joy into our hearts. Now we gotta save this guy's brother. Why couldn't they the just put this in a different language? Also. Like, it's just kind of weird that these people all speak English. Well, Hitman in the game, Co uh, 47 wouldn't know the other language, right? I don't know, he's like a, he was trained from birth to be an expert assassin. I couldn't believe that he, he knows different languages. Uh, you know, actually, yes and no, because you remember when I was talking about the contract mission, I was I was watching the Li Hong assassination. He says like, his Chinese was rusty, so it was like, uh, he, he didn't even speak it at all. Or understand, so, uh, apparently that's not the case. Huh. Physically, he's trained to be like the best, even though this video, or this, this video recording and all the stuff I've been playing with um, shows that's not quite the case. I would think learning a language would uh, be pretty useful. It is, it is. And if you ever have kids, just force them to learn another language, even if they don't like it. It'll, it'll help them out in the long run. Yeah, because yeah. I, I think he was born also in like Romania, 47, or born is a generous term, but... In, he was originally from Romania, so you'd think he would know that language as well. Hmm, that with all the been, English he's been speaking. That would have been a good detail, and I don't know why these guys are shooting at me, considering I'm actually holding an AK this time. It is really funny to watch. You just like it's like you're it's like they're on a bench. The the AKs. In front of you, yeah. <sighs> Sophisticated computer and old video games. That's what happens. Yeah, so this is just a lot of fucking walking in, like, the Columbia level, and it's not remotely interesting in any way. There's no real stealth in here anyways, either, except just put on the disguise and don't fuck up. Yeah, this this is part of the reason I stopped doing this. Like, it only, I, I tried, like, maybe five or six times, but there's just, look at this. There's, just, there's no landmarks. You can't see, like, more than, like, 50 feet in front of you. Not without, like, turning off the fog, but that's cheating now, right? Yeah, navigation is just ass. ass. Stealth, you, you can't really do it. Combat is is also is a is the only option, but it's a terrible option. Yep. So this is like this. These next three levels are pretty. Uh, well, not the second level. The these 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 Columbia levels are pretty action packed. Which uh, I guess they're trying to like try out all the genres to see if it works well, and then later improvements they decided not to go with this. Yeah, eventual, uh, you, you'd hope that the testers would have been like, uh, how do I do this? Can, can this level be beaten? Like, the Q, the QA testing. So these guys don't know me. Oh, so for once, stealthy. Yeah. <laughs> Stealth and audacity. Oh, hey, buddy. So are these disguises actually different? Like, will the people down the road not recognize you because you have a different disguise than you had when you shot those guys? Uh, there's there's three different disguises. There's the there's the commander disguise, the one of the um, uh, 
the brown, the, the light brown. I forget what color that's called, like be beige, beige colored costume. And oh, look, that disguise didn't work at all. And I had to walk all the way back. There's no oh, run yeah, button. No you wheel. Get shot run immediately button. here as well. Yes. And then there's the hat with the uh, the cost the disguise with the hat I'm wearing. And then there's the one with the military cap. There, there's three different disguises, but it's just uh, aesthetics. Yeah. I can't even see what's going on here, and I played the game. Yeah, I seem to remember that uh, whenever you respawn, you sort of respawn with like half health. No, you respawn with no full armor. health. Yeah, but you respawn with no armor, which makes it a little rough. Because if you spawn in enemies, you just... Which uh, happened in the Li Hong level. That was close. Yeah, uh, you don't respawn with armor. However, if your armor didn't get damaged, you respawn with it. So it's just kind of, it's just, it's just all over the place. Like the, the respawning is just weird. And this game would have been just terrible if it was just like, you, well, essentially you do have to beat it all in one go, but it would be terrible if it didn't have the checkpoints. Just, ugh, it's, it's a mess. Yeah, the retry system in this is very weird. It's like you're bending space and time. It doesn't really make any sense in the game world. Nope. No, no Unless matter there are like other 47s just running around and there's just like a whole vat of them. Which, uh, you know, that you would be... send to the next one. That would be plausible if uh, it actually worked. And then I, I lost, and then I had to go through the entire fucking map again. Unless you got the bandana. No, I, or I had to restart, and they start with the bandana thing. Like, I couldn't get the costumes from them, like, earlier. Like, up on landing. Yeah, hopefully you're gonna see a little of what I went through and maybe quit the game. I was behind the tree! And I get shot anyways? Oh. Yeah, if you can see them, they can see you. So it's just... Yeah, there's not much you can do when they're just in the group like that. You kind of just have to run away from them. And hope that the bullets don't stray and hit the back of your head. Yeah. It's like, I hope, hope that they're head. dumb enough to shoot when, like, each other are in front of them. So that they can just... Uh, Which, uh, doesn't happen that often in this run. It would've been nice, but nope. Yeah, unfortunately. So eventually, I just decided to go save the guy's, uh, the, the village chief's, uh, brother. I swear that I, a bullet went into his head and I just didn't shoot that guy. So, saving the villager's brother is optional? No, you have to save him, but I decided to save him first after getting the idol. So just to get everything in one go. Because if you get the idol, uh, you have to run back, and that just uses up more time. And I was just getting really fed up playing this, like, first part. This is the first part, by the way. God, the way he climbed... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I killed him earlier. Climbing up the ladder to just find that is... <laughs> oh, look, good. there's his brother. Oh, and, nice. And I happen to know that there was a guard on the other side, so I just... Just so we I somehow didn't get shot. So I'm guessing that guy was not scratching his head, but in fact, uh, using a radio. Scratching the radio? Radio DJ scratching? No, but I thought I thought he was using, like, an earpiece to communicate nope. the guy got away. Nope, he was just scratching his head. Really? So, wow. we, just, so we just fade back here. To, to return to a little earlier, I'm per this game has, like, Half-Life 2 ladder oh, physics, it looks like. It's so hard to even nice. get you down it. Oh, yeah, well, you gotta do it slowly. Or like no, just jump like, off. It's just like you, you end up walking off instead of getting on the ladder. Oh you? yeah, that's uh, annoying. Good thing fall damage isn't a big deal here for 47. Yeah. I love to see. Okay, so let's skip that. Obviously, he says a different dialogue if you. Been a great friend, stranger. Now I owe you. If you saved his brother yeah, first, so at least different. Look at his face. Yeah, I've been shot through the face, but uh, good, the good to be of service. And go look for the statue of Behind it, you will I like how these guys are just hold, just casually holding their weapons while they're like while they're like stretching around. Look at that! Is that guy flexing? What is yes, he doing? Yes, he's flexing. Look, he's like, look at my muscles. <laughs> <laughs> They're all doing it. He must for his again, once again, reusing a lot of models for it, hence the... Some kind of native dance. They, the, the guy tells you to go to the bridge, right? Uh, if you know where the bridge is, you can't even, like, use the bridge, even if you kill the native guarding it. Like, you have to do these missions, so I was like, why? Can't I just, like, yeah. go through the bridge and the next part it just has, like, the natives hunting me down or something? That would've been, that would've been, like, you know, freedom. So yeah, this... Very, like 
arbitrary game so, design. So they talk about this god, which is actually just a jaguar, and then I realized there was actually a video uh, footage thing, a, re or a video, video recon. I was just showing the jaguar slinking around. Yep, just jagging around. So is that your target? Are you trying no, to No, that it's just saying like beware of the god of Chikuka. Or whatever. And that's the thing I have to watch out for, even though it's just a jaguar. Yeah, so this will be like Oblivion or Elder Scrolls Oblivion or uh, Red Dead Redemption where you just get like mauled by a cat. You get wrecked if those things show up like ever. I always got wrecked by them in the in the in Red Dead Redemption. Like I just don't hear them coming cuz they're silent. Yeah, they're actually in GTA 5 as well. Figured out. Oh, uh, I didn't play that. Although it's the best game ever. Well, it's best selling. Yes, can't deny that. This game was neither the best nor the best. So. <laughs> it was a hit, though. It re really was. I, I thought the series sort of hit its. Uh, oh, oh, it stride was. It was enough of. Fast. Well, I assume it was enough of a hit that it got sequels, and then they just got better, and then Blood Money, and then everyone's like, "Ah, oh, greatest game series ever." And, and do then... you do you recall exactly when this game came out? Because. Uh, I'm trying to place it in my mind, like, what games came out around it. Uh, well, a little bit of quick research can do that. Uh, let me think. 247. Air it, time! It has to be... It's in, uh, 2000, actually. Oh, so that'd be, like, it'd be around the same time as, like, System Shock 2, uh, some of the other, like, Dark Engine games. Like Thief? Like Thief, yeah. I gotta say, Hitman looks better than Thief. I tried playing Thief, and it's... it's I wouldn't say primitive, but it's just really, like, really low-tech. Yeah, Thief to... 1 has a similar thing to uh, this game, where it's like a stealth game that tries to make you do combat all the time. And in uh, in Thief, there's like a bunch of undead that you just have to like chop their limbs off and stuff. I love how these really pigs are like, uh, like grouped together and they're running in a group. Yeah, it's... By the way, those pigs are supposed to be meant for uh, the Jaguar, like, as bait. As a sacrifice, as we should say. And look at how he holds the pig. The pig. <laughs> hey, buddy, my you're best just, piggy buddy. You're just football, <laughs> football running with him. Yeah, go hit man. So well, you're, you're offering a sacrifice to the jungle god, so he doesn't kill you. Is that's that that's one way, but I, I I did it wrong. But I did end up finding learning a little bit more because there's three ways you can get past the jaguar god, and one of them is with uh, the pig. Oh yeah, so I kept running back, grabbing the sniper rifle, because I was like, okay, I'm gonna use the pig, bait the jaguar out, jaguar out, and then, like, shoot it in the face. So, killing it is one way, which I'm surprised they allow you to do that. Well, I don't know, judging judging by how uh, ineffective it was against the pigs, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it wouldn't be that good against the jaguar. Oh, you'll be surprised. So, so killing the jaguar is one way. The other way is to let use the pig as sacrifice to distract them. And the third way is to just run for it and hope the Jaguar doesn't kill your ass. Oh, so it's, it's just sort of tracks onto you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you, you can indeed run past it. But I've never been killed by it, though. So I can't uh, say for certain. So does the Jaguar wander around? Is that what its deal is? That would have been really cool and kind of scary, because then it could have taken out all the other guys. But no, he just wanders around that red spot right there. Has oh. nothing better to do but to wander around the blood-soaked uh, altar. Or it's well, I don't know. If, if you were like a big cat wandering around the jungle, if people were just bringing you food, I, I would. I think that was a pretty good deal. You'd be a fat cat, but yeah, that would be a good deal. Yeah, I mean, if the villagers are so afraid of you and worship you as a god, I mean, that's a good deal. Only to be taken out by a sniper <laughs> rifle. <laughs> you just get shot <laughs> and then back. watch this. Watch this. The natives so the then start like, like oh, yeah. coming after you. I was like, what? I thought you were afraid of this god. Aren't you glad I killed him? And my it is, piggy it is disappears. A god, I guess, so. And then this guy <laughs> runs in. <laughs> he can't figure out how to get you. Much like the. What is this madness? What is this hole? Oh yeah, there's also a glitch where the jaguar actually comes through the hole with you, but that doesn't do anything. Nice. So here we're in the third part of the Columbia mission, and this is the best run I did of it, so we don't have to see the one hour of fail I had because of the fucking game. Yeah, thank you for playing this game. It must have been a bit of a misery at some times. Because uh, I, I was telling you about Lee Hong and how I got really, really frustrated with it, and you kind of, and you obviously saw the bloop, bloopers with it and such. Yeah, because I remember the Lee Hong level not being that bad whenever I played it. It took me like a half hour to finish it. 
um, it, in it, one go. It really only time. it really only takes fifteen minutes if everything went perfectly fine. But uh, yeah. No. Oh, uh, you see me? Uh, I open like the screen suddenly turned gray for a second. That was the cheat box. I I pressed it open so that I don't have to hold the W key because my fingers were really really getting uh, stiff from just holding W to walk around this fence. Yeah. So I want you all to know that every time I died or I had to restart, I had to go through this fence all over again. There's no shortcut. Oh my goodness. There's no shortcut or anything, and there are like like fifty to hundreds of guards here. There is no alternate entrance to this nope. place. There's no like hole you can go underground. No secret entrance. No cut barbed wires. You have to always do this route, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, MGS3, this this ain't. As far as infiltrating compounds. And which had better? Oh, I had better everything compared to this one. Yeah, well, you know, benefit of hindsight and all that. Yeah, yeah. This is their so, first game, so you know. You but kinda... this is this is shitty design. Like, no matter what era it is, like, just make a person walk around this whole thing just for no reason. And I'm running the fastest possible way I can. So it's there... not even any kind of it's not no kind of skill check. It's no kind of like gameplay benefit. You're, you're not getting anything out of it. You're it's just, just like it's just filler. By the way, there are tents nearby that have weapons and stuff. Oh, I skipped the cutscene. You, you didn't miss much. He just snorts cocaine. Not surprising. So here's how I went through this stealthily. <clears throat> so is this uh, Scarface we're dealing with here? Yes. <laughs> through the window. Huh? What happened? Hmm. Hey, there's no, a guy no. here with a gun and a guy got nope, shot. Nothing. Oh, well. Let's go home. Must have been nothing. This Are is you the, serious? This is the stealth in audacity. It is so ridiculous that no one actually knows what happened. Hey, I heard a gunshot. What was going on? Ah! <laughs> yeah, they, so they actually, they don't realize it because they're like, oh, that guy wouldn't have shot. Oh, my nope. God. You but that guy, he got one lucky headshot. And look at my body armor. It's like perfect condition. He didn't even hit, he didn't hit anything but my head. Oh, man. So cheated. Like, I, I really started hating this yeah, level. Yeah, it's like, hey, that guy would never, like, just shoot that guy and stand there. That's so stupid. No, it must be somebody that just shot them and left, but no. It was, it was... I, I guess he wanted to take a look out the window, and he just like hit so hard against the window. No such thing yeah. as intruders or anything. Exactly. They keep talking about them finding dead bodies, but they don't do anything about it. Like, oh, I always hated yeah. that guy. I got lucky here. They all lined up, so they just all died. I think they go to like a more alert state if you do that, and if they find the dead body you disguised from, yeah, it's a really big deal because they'll. they'll... Much oh look at this! I had to shoot this guy through the door. Nice. And he dies. Oh my god! So you're, the gun's right above his head. What killed him? Like did the sound kill him? No, the bullets did. I, I shot through the I door. I blinded. Yeah. So so yeah. Uh, but the alert state here doesn't really matter in the house. Apparently, it all stays within the house. Oh hey, yeah, buddy. Sound doesn't carry. Why wouldn't a drug lord live in the, like a really? shithole place like this. This is like... Uh. Well, it is, uh... I was gonna say it was secure, but it doesn't... It seems like he hired his guards from the short bus. Like this guy right here, who just... He's up here for no reason. He doesn't even get alerted at any time. But he just know He's just Wait, here. You came up here to shoot him anyway. Yep, just in case. Nice. So I take out all the guards. Before I was slitting everyone's throat, but like it just wasn't working. So just oh, stealth. They, they would detect you. Yeah, yeah. So stealth and audacity. So I just just came in and shot, shot everyone yeah. and did that luring spot. I got lucky and shot the door enough that he died. <laughs> this game is turning into a train wreck. <laughs> like you said earlier, uh, like in the first uh, part, uh, not a shining endorsement of the game. No, not at all. So if here. anything, we're, we're... Ah, Joe, say hello to my little friend. Yes, I was gonna, I was gonna say this is Scarface. He, he is. This is entirely inspired. What is it? What did he just say? Ah, uh, another one of those. We At will. Least Tony Montana had the courtesy to fucking die after he got shot. Every time you shoot him, he starts talking about stuff. However, I did find a way to kill him quicker, but that was only through uh, using God mode. Is that if you shoot him from outside, he just shuts up. Great. Like outside through the window, like uh, behind there. Oh my god, this that would have driven me, driven me insane if I had like actually gotten through. What are you doing? 
I don't know where he heard all this. He just comes in and I just like shoot him. And there's he a just, bomb right here. He just turned around. He was like, ass down my business. <laughs> well, the boss is dead. More cocaine for me. So, th <laughs> so there's a bomb. Yeah, he's like, I can take over. I'll be the drug lord. <laughs> just don't kill me, mister. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah, so there's only like two entrances you can do the or go through to get into the house. Because any other entrance, they'll be like, oh, get the hell out. Hang out somewhere else. So we had to get that bomb on the table and blow up the the the, me the meth lab, drug lab, cocaine lab, whatever. Right. Breaking Bad style now. Yeah, one of those part, uh, like multi-part missions where you have like several different objectives. So time to load up just in case, even though I have an abundance of look AK at your, fire. Look at his hand. Like I just want you to pay attention to no. his hand as he's picking up all these he just, bits of ammo. He just twists like, it. He just twists it. Twists it twists like... 270 degrees like you can't He's, do that hitman's a contortionist yeah I, I guess that's part of his genetic engineering i'm surprised he didn't have he couldn't contort himself into a vent and just like crawl through it yeah okay so this one had a body armor and some uh, bullets just laying around nobody cleans up here well that's good i guess oh and a silenced pistol as well perfect but uh, if you carried that outside they'll be like hey what's up and that start looks shooting like the you. agency left that for you. Hmm. That'd be kind of funny. So that means there must have been an agent inside. Yeah. That well, I you probably know, the shot. agency is, uh... It, I was gonna say the agency is, a pr is proven pretty effective, but they kind of are terrible. If you, if you use the later Hitman games as your example. Yes. Although I wouldn't know that until I get, ever get around Especially to playing Especially Absolution. Like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, so here I was wondering whether to take this guard out or not, because uh, if I start shooting in the meth lab, he's gonna know, and then the next guy's gonna know, and then it, you know, chain reaction, and I get fucked. So I was like, the Great Wall of China thing. <laughs> was that? They light the torch, and then the next guy lights the. Torch. Oh yeah, yeah. You mean yeah, 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 like from Mulan. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, oh, you know what? I I'll let you live. I'll see if I can not kill you. But turns out I should have killed him anyways. Oh. You know, I you, you have that problem so many times in your life. It's just it's gotta gotta roll with it. Yep, learn from your mistake. And that and that they don't even check you there. Like uh, at that guard post, just lets me waltz in. Yeah, like, everyone's just everyone else in this entire area has like has like guard posts and patrols, and they're like slowly running around and looking around. And you're just like running through like swinging your, swinging your yeah, it's. Yeah, so how, do you, how do you not look suspicious? So right here, I'm just like, oh, shit, I should have killed him. And it's like, oh, should I go through the front? Uh, no, there's like three guards down there. And it's like, there's two guards here. Hmm. Yeah, the, they made changes to that system whereby, like, you know, people who other guards should recognize that you're not one of them. At least one of them. Yeah, it takes till Hitman Absolution for them to implement that. Oh, of the all of the the hiding things. So I'm like, oh, I fucked that up. Run and gun. Oh, did that guy die back there? I thought he was still alive. I shot him, but not the guy on the rooftop. So here's how, as as tactical as the game gets, is leaning out corners and shooting. Yeah. And they'll get you in the arm and kill you anyway. Suck. I got. Oh, did you see that? He got shot in the face and he still didn't die. Yeah. It's game is so random with that. I imagine there's one specific place you can put that. Yeah, just one else. specific place. It's on the crates. I was like, why? Just put the bomb anywhere. He's packing. They all say the same thing. <laughs> yes. And <laughs> he goes flying <laughs> physics. Great. Oh, just yeah. Fantastic. Remember that thing about how any weapon in your hand is just inaccurate as hell? This is a dim uh, shining example of it. Yeah. I could have died right there. Yeah, this... And he goes flying, too. They never correct this mistake in, like, later Hitman games. Like, every time someone detects you, they say the same thing. Like, in this, they go, like, he's packing! You can have a knife, and they'll be like, he's packing! Uh, yeah, that happened in the Hong Kong mission. It was just like, yeah, he's packing! Like, yeah, like, Chinese triads, Colombian, like, drug runners... They all, they all say the same. They all talk the same way, you know? Oh. The same, same criminal. They have the same criminal lexicon they, they, all drag, they all draw from. Or is it the whole thing where it's like, a, you know, there's not actually any race. There's just one race, the human race. I, I, we're I just guess all the that, same. That's what this game was really meant to say. That we're all the same and that one in five people are either bad guys or cops. Or yes. one in three people. 
interesting. Totally unnecessary. Nah, that's, that's not what I'm okay, so bomb's been set. Now to get out through a very specific means. Every time you have an end mission, you just completely leave the country. If you'll uh, notice soon. Yeah. Because in but, uh, uh, go yeah, on. In Hitman Blood Money, they have the same problem, whereby like, you know, if you you'll take a you'll find a guard in like Paris, and if you like you're holding him hostage, he'll be like. Don't do anything stupid, pal. And if if you're like, you'll have like a secret service agent from America. You're holding him hostage. You'll be like, don't do anything stupid, pal. And the people in Chile will say, don't do anything stupid, pal, in Spanish. They say the exact <laughs> same thing. And, oh my! I guess they all took the same training course. Yeah, they're. I guess that's the, the real trick. They all took the same training course. That's why the agency wants them dead because it's uh the same. It's a rival, uh... Oh, what was that noise? <laughs> they both have the same animation. Uh, all three of them. <laughs> like, there's, like... there, There's some charm in Codename 47, but it's like, as an overall game, just like, ah. So, uh, so there's a helicopter here? Uh, there's a plane here. So, oh, I'm, so I'm trying to take these three guys out, because if you just walk in, they'll start shooting you, of course. So I'm like, ah. I thought, I thought you were trying to, to, uh, get to a helicopter, like, to arrive in the same area as Get to the chopper? No, that'd just be way too convenient. Plus, you'd nah, probably have to be chased by a predator. Yeah, and I imagine they could shoot down a chopper, so it's probably for the best. Fun funny enough, there's no ar there's no rocket launchers in here. There's a minigun in this game. Oh, this is one of the only two levels where you can actually use a minigun. Oh, yeah? Where is it? Uh, it's in one of the tents, but if you... The second you pick it up, they're like, hey, that's suspicious. Yeah, and you can't sneak. It's not like you can sneak anywhere with that. Nope, nope. It's one, It's uh, The minigun is one of the... Oh, yeah. Well, the, the base. That also kills people if they're around. Huh. The minigun is uh, one of those weapons where it's too big to hide, like the sniper rifle and shotgun, so you just hang it to your side. Yeah. In in later games, I think, like if you got like all the you know level rewards where you like didn't kill anyone... Ah, see, that's the line they all say. Like, find another place to hang around. Got lucky, no headshot. Run, 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 run. Oh, God. You were saying? Level rewards? Yeah, if you got all the level rewards, you would unlock a minigun. Hey, where'd the guy go? You can just carry the minigun into the game and just completely break it. Aw, see, that's fun. Just, like, no regard for the minigun. They reward you for doing the stealthy way and by letting you do it the other way. See, that's how you make a game. You let people have fun. What the fuck? We'll see that later. I want to see the next vision.